And welcome back to another episode of the Denny Podcast, episode 11. This is a podcast where I'll be talking about self-improvement, comedy experience, embarrassing stories, or even outrageous opinions. And in today's topics, I want to dive deeper into personal growth. So personal growth, it's a journey about self-discovery and self-improvement. But it's also about taking intentional steps into becoming the better version of yourself, as cringy as it sounds. So it involves developing self-awareness, setting goals, overcoming obstacles, building resilience, and cultivating positive habits and mindset. So like me, for example, I was built like a twig back in middle school. But then later on in high school, I decided to change and better myself by working out at home and even in school. I took weight training class. And even up until today, I'm still working out and I'm still trying to stay in shape. And so one of my reasons why I got into working out is, well, it's because of gaming. Majority of time, most of the characters in video games are jacked as hell. And I was like, you know what? I want to be a protagonist too. And so not only because of that, but I also like the feeling that once you're done working out, your mood, your mood feels lifted. Like there's a boost of mood and you feel great about yourself. It's that feeling of completing a challenging workout and you experience a sense of satisfaction. So yeah, I would say hitting the gym can be therapeutical in many ways. The biggest thing I want to address when it comes to personal growth or focusing on yourself is sacrifice. So personal growth requires sacrifice since you're you're stepping out outside of your comfort zone. You're either facing your fears or making difficult choices that may involve letting go of things that are holding you back. You know, you can't be doing the same shit and expect different or better outcome. The hardest thing for me to sacrifice was unhealthy food, such as snacks or even fast food like Burger King or Chipotle. You know, I would like to have my bowl filled with rice, beans, steaks, with salsa and cheese after getting a good workout in. So sacrifice is essential for personal growth. You know, like you're not gonna find God if you focus deeply on yourself, but you will have increased self-awareness, more confidence, and even fulfillment. And while training your body does have its benefits, but what's also important is mental training, as there are two sides of the same coin. Mental training such as meditation, therapy, or even journaling can help develop emotional growth. For me, I've been practicing meditation for almost a year now, and I can say it does help, such as going on dates, for example, as it calms the nerve, reduce anxiety, and cultivate a more relaxed mindset. I don't want to go on dates where I'm all tense up and my anxiety is through the roof. It's like you're just asking for a disaster. And so during my meditation practice, I would practice this daily for about 10 minutes or so, and I would just simply focus on my breathing and at the present moment, and if my mind wanders off, then I would redirect my mind back to my breathing. This is to improve my focus and concentration along with other benefits, such as awareness. There are many varieties of meditations, but the one I'm doing is simply called the breathing meditation. It's pretty straightforward. And I would say one of the more difficulties when it comes to personal growth is actually getting started on it. It's the same thing for schoolwork, like it's hard taking out your textbook and start reading reading on it. My advice to this is that there has to be some level of motivation to this. Because if you keep pondering about it, then sooner or later you're going to do it, right? But I would say that's not efficient because you're just dragging it out. So my advice to this would be be just to be present in that moment and don't ponder or have any second thought about it. It's just like the Nike logo, just do it. Because being in the present means that you're more aware of what's going on, along with increased focus, and thus you're less likely to get distracted. So for me personally, one of the difficult obstacles that I'm trying to overcome is that I'm trying to get better at sleeping. Yes, I suck at sleeping, I'm not a sleeping beauty, I don't fall asleep easily, and I'm a night owl. I've been trying to sleep early, but it doesn't help since I overthink a lot when I'm in bed. And taking melatonin does help, but I would get hella vivid dreams. Like one time I had a dream where I was in a wedding party and I was shirtless. I don't know whose wedding it was. I know for sure it wasn't mine because, you know, who would marry me? But, uh, so yeah, 
that's something I'm still working on and that was one weird dream. All in all, personal growth, it's a, it's a journey. It can involve physical growth, emotional growth, and any other kind of growth. For me, it was building physical strength and cultivating a mental strength through meditations. Also, sacrifice is a crucial component of personal growth, since you're letting go of old habits in order to make progress. That's my personal growth, but not, but not all personal growth is a one-size-fits-all journey. You might have to experience what fits and what resonates with you. I would say keep pushing yourself outside your comfort zone, set and achieve your goals, and soon you'll be your own protagonist. Thanks for listening.